Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. I just seen a bunch of greens. Yeah, I'm seeing kale smoothies or I'm seeing a bunch of vegetables and smoothies. Like <laughs> so you could be dieting, exercising, juicing, whatever. Something with your like eating healthier. Elf mischief. Be mindful of someone trying to like mess with that. Like say for instance, you put out a certain amount of vitamins or whatever, someone could be moving it or just messing with you. I don't feel like they're like doing anything like too nefarious just yet, like too bad. I just think they're like trying to mess with you. Like say for instance, it's little small annoying shit. Like you have a whole schedule set up for a certain type of like diet, exercise, whatever. And you put your vitamins here and you walk away to go grab something and it's some, someone moved it. And now you're off track and you're running around looking for it. They're just trying to like mess with you. Yeah, a seal of vulnerability. And this could be something new that you're doing. I feel like this person either feels vulnerable because you're changing. So they're trying to bother you or mess with that. Or like you're doing something new. And so someone's trying to make you feel vulnerable. It's like someone's trying to like confuse you. So that you feel, yeah, hair transformation. I knew it. You're going through some type of transformation. So, of course, you feel vulnerable because this is something new that you're doing. Either someone wants you to feel vulnerable during this transformation or someone's trying to mess with you while you feel vulnerable during this transformation. Anyone doing anything new, even if they've done it in the past before, starting something new after a while is going to, like, make you feel out of your element. And the only thing that makes you feel in control is a schedule. That it, it gives you a little bit of sense of control. And it still takes a little bit of time of, for you to get comfortable in it. So anyone trying to mess with that or throw that off or confuse you, yeah. Nymph promiscuity, you're going to look good. I see you. <laughs> it's going to reflect in your, your hair, nails, skin, body, whatever, your confidence overall. It's going to definitely shine through. People are going to notice. I've been getting this transformation and rebirth card for literally every sign. I just finished all the fire signs. And it's definitely giving that. Everyone's going through some type of transformation. It's that that um, Mercury going into Leo. So people are doing things to grow. Maybe you've just been simply toying with this idea. I also feel like with Elf Mischief, someone's been picking at your insecurities or things that they know you're vulnerable about while you're going through this transformation. But let's get into the tarot. Either way, I see you being extremely successful at it. You might not even realize it. I feel like Virgo is one of the signs who are unaware about the certain things that are like attractive about them. You don't realize how much attention you're getting because you're used to being in the background or that's how you like to be private. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I'm a Virgo son. And you see how I'm off camera. <laughs> Queen of Swords. You could have air in your chart, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could just be taking on this energy or be dealing with one Knight of Wands. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're very clear set on what you want to do. You've done the research, of course. Queen of Swords energy here. You've done the research and you're taking action towards it. Knight of Wands. And Nine of Wands, you're persevering. You could also be, um, because Knight of Wands, yeah, you're getting started on something, but you're also persevering through it with the Nine of Wands. You're not just going to let it be like a short-term thing. You're going to see it through. And with the Knight of Wands, this is someone who may jump from one thing to another. This person is non-committal. Whereas the Knight of Wands gets things started, but they can be non-committal. But with that Nine of Wands energy, that's you persevering. You get things started and you're seeing it through. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. That's having a strong foundation. 
So you could be trying different things and finding one that sticks or creating a system and routine that works for you. Overall energy is the star. Like I said, I see it working for you. I see you going through this transformation, some type of healing process that's very healthy for you, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or physically, or spiritually, whatever it is. You're going through some type of healing and you're going to look good. It's going to shine through beautifully. Also, the star is Aquarius energy. I don't know if I said that or not. So let's clarify. And with the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, it's definitely you guarding yourself and pulling back your energy from either uh, someone with an air placement, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone with a fire placement, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who's cold and non-committal or flighty all over the place. Or it's, if it's not a person in particular, it's an energy that either you possess or just around you. Whatever this energy is, it's cold and non-committal and you're combating this energy, whether it's you or someone else, by persevering through the hard times, creating a strong foundation, something you can stick to and staying consistent. You're finding something that works for you to make it consistent. So just like for an example, if you start a new exercise regimen or whatever diet, you're tweaking it in a way that works for you, doing it on days that works for you, making it consistent. I hope I explained that well. Let's clarify. And it's going to work. You're going to be extremely successful at it. You're avoiding any like, what is it? Uh, inconsistencies. I'll just say that. Five of Cups, past disappointments. Yeah, you're getting clear. You're doing research on what didn't work in the past. With the Queen of Swords, you're just looking at it clearly, seeing it for what it is and learning from it. The Queen of Swords is someone who's been there, done that. They've gone through things and they've learned from it. Because you can either allow, because the Queen of Swords can either be bitter or better. And with the stars, your overall energy and transformation here, you've taken what you've experienced with the Five of Cups past disappointments and you made yourself better. You learned from them. The hangman, yeah, because clarifying the Queen of Swords, you decided to see things from all angles, a different perspective and gain enlightenment, that sacrifice in order to like really look at what you've gone through and learn from it. And so you've moved forward. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the King of Wands. This is you taking action, being a leader. Yeah, King of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Wands, that's someone who takes action. After learning from your past, or whatever you experienced, you took action. You could have also dealt with someone who's a player in non-committal or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you walked away from non-committal energy. Eight of Cups, clarifying the Knight of Wands. And Knight of Cups, clarifying the Nine of Wands, and you no longer accept offers from individuals like this. This person could have tried to come back for some of you and you just rejected them because the Knight of Cups is like an offer, especially clarifying the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So someone who is non-committal, you're just not accepting this person back or any offer similar to it. Yeah. Ten of Cups, even whether you have a family with this person or not, or whether this person is family. Could be a water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. The moon card, clarifying the four. Uh, yeah, you're pulling back emotionally, king of pentacles here. So you could be in your masculine energy. Doesn't matter what your gender is. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Five of wands is the overall energy. Yeah, if someone's trying to cause any drama, conflict, or competition with you, you're not engaging. I don't see you engaging in it at all. I see you taking your emotions out of the situation, keeping your emotions to yourself, keeping certain things to yourself and in check. With the four of pentacles, that's stability, especially, and then clarified by the moon. That's emotional stability and grounded. You're keeping your emotions in check. You're not competing with anyone because there's clearly someone who, for whatever reason, is trying to start conflict with you and you're not doing it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.